Hi, myself Dr. Vivek Shashindran and today we would be talking about or I would say rather continuing about complications in ear surgery. In the previous video, I did talk about complications of tympanoplasty and today we would be touching upon complications of mastoidectomy. So I did mention in my earlier videos about mastoidectomy and this is something that is performed when you have disease process extending into the mastoid bone. So you may have to do it as a part of eardrum reconstruction if there is disease extending into this bone at the same time you would have to open up this bone. So it could either be a cholestritoma extending into the mastoid or it could be part of a simple tympanoplasty as well. So what complications do you expect or what are the complications that one needs to be aware of? So in general I would say that most of the patients would not have any complications. The incidence of complications are far and few and would probably be less than 2%. So you need to know that when we are talking about any kind of surgery confined to the temple bone, we are working in an area which is very close to the brain. So you have some kind of a demarcation between the cranial cavity and the mastoid bone. So if there is some kind of a breach, you could probably enter the cranial cavity. Now this is something that you can identify on table and then kind of rectify it then and there. Similarly, if you go posteriorly, there is a prominent vascular channel. This kind of forms the posterior limit of your mastoid cavity. So if this sinus is kind of anteriorly placed or if it has an abnormal course, there's a chance that you could kind of accidentally puncture it during your surgery, which results in significant bleed. But these are things that can be managed then and there on the table. Again, the facial nerve is an important nerve that runs through the temporal bone. The major part of the facial nerve runs through the temporal bone. So one of the challenges in autology surgeries or ear surgeries is to kind of learn to work around the facial nerve. However, occasionally you may come across situations like, you know, a situation or a scenario where the nerve is exposed or you can have an abnormal course of the facial nerve. So this is something which a surgeon should be aware of. So very rarely you could accidentally hit the facial nerve, expose the facial nerve or traumatize the facial nerve. So it's very important to kind of identify what kind of injury has happened on table and then this can be corrected then and there. So again, in the previous videos I did talk about facial nerve palsy and how you deal with it. So you can decompress the nerve, if it is transected you can. So some in some situations, in some scenarios you obviously will have to kind of sacrifice the facial nerve for disease clearance if it's a tumor yes so the patient probably would already have a facial palsy so you would be, you would be doing a mastoidectomy if it's a tumor arising from the facial nerve you'll have to sacrifice that part of the facial nerve and then kind of reconstruct it but otherwise in a healthy nerve you should almost always preserve the facial nerve apart from this you have the semicircular canals. Now these are the structures that are involved with balance. So if you kind of hit the semicircular canal, the patients can have vertigo. So again, the challenge that you have when you do mastoid surgeries is to identify the semicircular canals. In case the semicircular canals are exposed, again, these can be kind of sealed on table. So these are some of the complications that we talk about mastoidectomy. However, what you need to keep in mind is that these are very, very rare. Thank you.